this is a tough one. Hey everyone, I'm Jaren, and today we are talking about M. Night Shyamalan's Old. This story follows a group of vacationers who find themselves trapped at a beautiful yet ominous beach. As the day progresses, they find themselves aging rapidly, ultimately racing against the time to survive or face the inevitable death. I was very excited for a few reasons. One, M. Night Shyamalan is back in the horror genre. I love some of his work, especially with The Visit when he made his little comeback, and as well as he continued the Unbreakable trilogy, which was Split, and I actually like Glass. I don't know what the, all the hate was about, but I liked it. And two, uh, this story, this whole premise just seems so weird. It's so silly. And I was like, how is this gonna work? Three, once I saw the trailer, I was just so enticed. I was very intrigued. And I was like, I gotta know how this ends. Now, this movie is also inspired by a graphic novel called uh, Sandcastles, I believe. And apparently it was an inspiration for M. Night Shyamalan to kind of face some of the anxieties he was going through in his personal life about, you know, getting older as well as his parents. So in a way, I really like when the writer-director actually likes to express what he's feeling, what he's inspired by, and express it on the screen, you know? Now, for those of you who have seen Vivarium, uh, the one with Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg, it came out like last year uh, during the pandemic on VOD. It's almost like that, but at the same time, it's not. Now, I feel like this movie would have worked a lot better as a miniseries because a lot of things happen so fast. A lot of information flies over your head and the movie asks that you accept it for what it is. Um, not that you have to disbelieve in anything. It's just, you know, the plot is very ambiguous and there's just so much going on and there's a lot of characters to follow that even the framework, like the camera work was just so... I wouldn't say lazy, it was just kind of all over the place. Sometimes it's zooming in when like the characters are like over the camera, it's like zooming in into the sky, like our characters are out of focus, out of frame, and I was just like, is this part of the movie experience or is this lazy camera work? You know, I just felt so disorientated and pushed away just a little bit, but then it kind of lures you back in with all the emotional aspects with the main characters, um, with all the characters actually, but when they start aging, it is pretty crazy because it's not just the kids getting older, but it's also um, maybe a loss of sight or a loss of hearing or wrinkles, um, just little things that we have made fun about, about getting older. We've made fun of just getting old to a point where some of these things might seem strange to an audience. And in a way, we fear about getting older. We fear about death, the inevitable death, actually. And you just see this whole breakdown of what could happen in years happen in minutes. And it's scary to watch these characters wither away and to see them lose their minds. Just suddenly, they can't escape this. There's a lot of anxiety and suspense where a lot of people might deem this movie very clumsy or just kind of obvious, but I kind of respected that M. Night Shyamalan got to really risk a lot of things because this is not your typical blockbuster thriller at all. This is neither one of M. Night Shyamalan's best, but it's also not the worst. It's not going to be for everybody, but I enjoyed it. I would really like to watch it again. Like, I had some issues, especially some plot holes that just didn't seem to close right or come full circle. But, I don't know, it just begs you to watch it again. I mean, I wasn't too thrilled about the ending either, especially this whole reveal, but... I'm so conflicted. I, I want to see it again just to see where I stand because this is difficult. It's a, it's a thinker. Unless you see the movie yourself, it is really hard to dissect this movie without spoilers. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I encourage you to go check it out. I'm Janak Banawa. That's all I got for you guys today. I look forward to more reviews and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye. I can never find a better